Hi, in this video we are going to see how the flyback connector works, its basics, operation and the waveforms. So, flyback connector is mainly used in low and medium power applications. <coughs> the flyback connector is an isolated connector. Okay. This isolation connector means uh, that output and input are electrically isolated. Whereas the buck converter, the boost converter are the non-isolated converters. Here in flyback converter, the isolation is provided by means of high frequency transformer. That is, uh, this transformer will isolate the output side circuit from the input side supply. Input supply. In addition to the isolation, the transformer will act as an energy storage element. So we will see the circuit diagram of the flyback converter. Yes, the circuit diagram is shown here. I shown want to see uh, switch T1 that is connected to the supply PS through a transformer primary winding. Uh, just observe that the uh, dots in the transformer windings. The dot is the current entering point in the coil. That is the uh, basic setting you, you know it. Um, in primary side it is in top and in secondary side it is in down. This has to be observed. This has to be very important point actually. <coughs> When the switch is in on condition, uh, let us see that uh, uh, the operation in a very crisp way. When the switch is in on condition, the energy is stored in that uh, transformer primary winding. Okay. When the switch is off condition, at the moment the polarity of the primary and the secondary coil windings will be reversed. That is the nature of uh, inductors. That is the coil, right? So the secondary side winding upper point will become positive. So the diode will become forward bias and it starts to conduct and the capacitor gets charged and as well as the load. This will happen in that when the switch is in off condition. So this is the basic operation in a simple way of spelling. We will see the uh, complete operation only. See the operation of flyback number can be uh, detailed C by considering two modes. In mode 1 the switch is in on condition. In mode 2, the switch is in off condition. That you remember. So, in mode 1, uh, a switch is in on condition, the T1, that is a switch. That is maybe mm, generally it will be a CR or a IGBT. It will be there. Um, as the switch is in on condition, it forms the closed loop path in the primary side. So, energy is uh, keep on uh, getting charged in the primary coil. Uh, during this time, the charge already stored in the capacitor C will discharge to the load and uh, you can see this one the diode for is in reverse bias during this moment okay when switch is in on condition so in mode 2 when switch t1 is in turned off that um, see when the switch is in turned off the mode 2 will start after that moment as per the property of coil, the polarity of the secondary side reverses at this moment. That is, top side will become positive and bottom will become negative. So, the diode is in forward bias and the capacitor keep on getting charged. This is the operation. Now, let us see, understand the operation further with the help of waveforms. We will understand the waveforms of this. During mode 1, uh, see this is the mode 1 uh, part of circuit as well as the waveforms you check it out with the mode 1 section only the very first part only this side only you this column only you check it out then this is in mode 2 okay mm, doing mode 1 the switch t1 is in on condition so no voltage drop across it across the uh, switch the current flows through the switch via the transform primary coil and it will keep on growing, right? That's what the second of the current through the switch will keep on increasing. And uh, at the at the moment the transformer second receipt bottom is positive and top is negative. That is diodes anode is connected to the low polar low low potential drop, right? So diode is in reverse bias condition when that is in mode one condition, that is when the, the switch is in on position. So, no current flows to the diode. That's what here the third one is saying. Current flows to the diode in mode 1, it will be uh, 0. No current flows. So, now come into the mode 2. 
See mode two, this is the part of circuit which is in which has a closed loop part, right? So in mode two, the switch one is switch T1 is in off condition. Okay. So the entire supply voltage V that will V S that will uh, appear across it, across the switch. That's what you can see here. Voltage across the switch during the off condition will be complete V S will appear across the switch. And the energy stored in the transformer will keep on moving to the capacitor via the diode, via the diode D1. So the diode currents will ramp down from the maximum value to minimum value that you can see here. Okay. These uh, waveforms are for a continuous conduction mode. So this uh, current waveforms you see, it will from minimum to maximum in switch as well as in from diode from maximum to minimum. Will be the Sort of waveform command if you comment both the things. If it is in uh, discontinuous mode, it will reach up to the zero. It means current through the diode waveform is there, right? If from maximum to it will reach up to the zero, then it will start in the next mode. This waveform is for continuous conduction mode. So before uh, then, once again, the mode one will start and mode two will keep on starting. And this is the working of uh, playback and outer. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave in the comment section. Thanks. Have a nice day. Bye.